Yo, what's going on you guys? Owen here. Welcome back to another video. Um, as you guys can tell, the setup is quite different. I'll be getting into that uh, in a little bit, but basically this video is going to be a more casual video. I've got this video planned out into three different sections. In the first section, I'm going to be showing you guys some recent pickups. Um, I have a lot of new pickups, but I want to keep it slim, so I'm going to be showing you guys, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish pickups. Um, and then the second part of the video is going to be a room and closet tour because there are two separate rooms again but I've got a new setup. A lot of you guys had asked to see a little room tour so I thought I'd throw that in. And then the final part of the video, a little bit different for the channel but um, I decided to throw in some like Warzone clips. I won't spoil if I win or anything. I've got a few different games, um, some solo and some squads with uh, some guys that you might know. And yeah, it's gonna be a fun little casual video. I wanna get back into making videos. I need to get back into it. Um, so yeah, enjoy. Starting off with some pickups. Um, I've got four pairs of pants, two shoes, and a jacket I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna go over each item very briefly, so don't expect a very in-depth analysis about each item. Um, let's start off with the trousers first, since I've got four pairs. Let's just knock them out of the way. Um, this first pair right here is from Arc'teryx. You guys can see the logo right there. Um, these are called the Stowe Pants, S-T-O-W-E. Um, really, really cheap and affordable pants. They're like 75 bucks. Um, and they're just great casual pants. They go with a lot of different outfits, but I also really like the construction and the paneling. As you run down the leg, you can see around like the knee area, knee thigh area, is where like these different panels come into play. It's got some darting, it's got a like interesting knee panel that kind of comes halfway down the leg, and it's got some angled zips, really, really nice stuff. And then you've got like two, uh, like normal back pockets in the back and yeah they're just great everyday pants um, they've got like a slim-ish fit it's more baggy towards the top and then it kind of slims down so it's got a tapered fit next up we have a pair of uh, jeans from Reese Cooper I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with Reese Cooper um, he dropped a collection a few weeks ago now maybe a month ago I think these jeans are great because they have that standard straight leg fit um, with like the five pocket jean detailing, but then on the front side is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Before the washing process, there was a panel that went over both knees, and then they washed the jeans to give them the vintage look, and then they put on these uh, separate patches, so it kind of has like a layered panel look where you can see some of the raw indigo denim uh, peeking out from behind the patches. And yeah, the construction is on point. The color is amazing. That's why I love these so much is the color. The combination of like the indigo and this like dirt dye is so beautiful. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to wear these more often. Next up, we have a pair of pants from Stotts Ballet. Um, you guys know that brand. You guys know I own a lot of their products. I missed the original release for these, but luckily they did a restock not too long ago. Um, so I managed to grab my size and I am in love with them. I really, really love this material. It's like a wax cotton canvas I think. I believe the name of these are like the black canvas pants. I was expecting a duck canvas similar to their um, shorts they released like over the summer last year. Um, but this is completely different and I'm very very much in love with these. I think they're gonna wear in great over time. You're gonna be able to see the wear and tear put into them and yeah it's a really wide leg fit. Um, very wide leg and they're also really long too. About half the time I wear these I'll throw a cuff on them. Um, it kind of depends on the shoe situation. Um, but yeah, great pair of pants. I'm super happy with these. Moving on to the last pair of trousers. These are from Marcel Everett. Um, I haven't purchased anything from uh, Garrett in a long time, um, but luckily he had a few of these left in stock on his website. Um, and then he also dropped a new collection. So this is kind of like two pickups in one. These are the nylon technical trousers in the gray colorway. I believe he released these last year um, and I luckily was able to find my size in them. So I had to pick them up. And then also this little utility clip right here is part of the new collection that he dropped. Um, and this is one little accessory that uh, stuck out to me. It's just a um, lamb leather uh, like utility clip, I guess. It's for keychains. Um, you can hang your keys off that right there or your keychain, I guess. It's got a little clasp at the top and it's also got the, I don't know if this is gonna show up, if it's gonna autofocus, but it's got the Marcel Everett logo. Uh, like embossed onto the leather which is a really nice detail and it's got like the dirty distressed look and these suit trousers are like a it's like a normal suit trouser with the Marcel Everett um, like signature uh, belt loop straps on the back and other than that it's a pretty standard fit it's like a slim straight fit and yeah I can't wait to wear these more often obviously in quarantine you really need to wear suit trousers too often 
But yeah, I'm very excited to wear those. All right, so moving on to some shoes. I'm probably most excited about these shoes in this video because they are both amazing. Uh, I guess I'll start off with this pair right here. So these are a pair of Guidis. Um, the model in specific is the 796V. The material for this specific pair, since they do vary quite a bit, there's so many different models out there. Um, this is reverse bison leather. So you'll see it actually has like a suede texture and that's because it's the reverse side of some bison leather. Um, you can see the pebbling on the inside right there, um, which is such a cool detail. Um, very, very stoked on these. But yeah, I don't know why, I just love a good lug sole. A lot of Guidis, like this pair right here, will have um, like a normal just like heeled sole. And I just really like a good lug sole, I guess. And yeah, these just perfectly fit the bill. They're not as tall as the other pair. Um, and they also do have the back zip right there. A lot of Guidis will have either a back zip or a front zip. I think the front zip is more sought after, um, but they are way more expensive at least what I've seen so far. I'm not too well versed in Guidi boots. I got these from Silver League and then I also got the next pair of boots I'm gonna show you from Silver League. And these right here are some Carol Christian Poel spiral boots um, with this amazing enamel tarnished uh, leather texture going on. Um, the base of the boots was leather and then it also had some sort of enamel coating on the toe and the heel and also like on other parts of the boot too. I probably should have mentioned that. Um, I think on the entirety of the shoe actually and I guess just over time these have worn down quite a bit I believe these are from 2006 and you guys can see it has the spiral zip coming in from the back of the ankle All the way down to like the inside of the foot. I picked these up about maybe like three or four weeks ago now and They're just amazing amazing boots even though they aren't technically like a black leather boot because they have some other colors going on I think they style just like a black leather boot um, and I really like the color variations too. You guys will see in some lighting, it has like a green sheen to it in some areas and then that brown slash orange kind of like really pops out and it just creates a really unique look that you don't see in any boots ever. I also posted probably my favorite photo on Instagram wearing these boots and yeah, I'm just so stoked on that photo. And then to finish off the pickups with one last item, this is just like a cheap item, um, not design or anything like that. This right here is a nylon Uniqlo little rain trench coat kind of deal. There's nothing special about this item at all. I just want to show you guys because I thought it was a great pickup. Um, I got it on sale. It was like 50 something dollars, I think. And just kind of like fit the bill of exactly what I was looking for. I wanted a nylon trench. And I was thinking about buying a designer one for a little while, but they are just so pricey. And then I found this one on Uniqlo, which is exactly what I was looking for on sale. Had to pick it up. It did come with a quilted uh, lining, but I took that out since it's like a button lining. And it also has hidden buttons on the front, so you'll see it has this little extra layer to cover up the buttonholes right there. Um, and sometimes I'll rock it with the collar up for a more like, I don't know, a more sleek look I guess. And that's going to do it for the pickup section of the video. Like I said earlier, there's two other sections, so I highly recommend sticking around for that and enjoy. Alright, so we're going to do a quick room and closet tour. Since I'm back in Boston, I'm not in my normal apartment setup. And things have changed quite a bit around here. Um, I now have a dedicated closet room, which is behind this wall. Um, as you might have noticed, there are no clothing racks in this room anymore. I used to have my YouTube recording set up right against here. Um, I had like two clothing racks against this wall, and I had my bed pressed against this corner right here, but that is no longer the case. More space efficient, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a quick little tour. So I'll do a quick pan around so you guys can see how big it is. Um, it's not huge, but you know, it gets the job done. I make it nice and spacious. So I thought I'd go, I thought I'd go over each part of the room so you guys get an idea of like how I organize the room. Over here we have my shelf. Um, I originally bought this shelf for storage purposes for my um, brand's inventory, um, but I decided to use it for just like more tabletop surfaces. So I've got some shoes up there. We got my switch back in that corner with some uh, random cables and whatnot. Camera equipment stuff, like lenses and my other camera, microphones. Um, and then we've got some notebooks down there. And some jewelry stuff like necklaces, rings, um, all that good stuff is right over there. Easy access. Um, and then let's see what else we got. Steamer, handheld steamer is a must for anybody. Uh, some hoods, masks, that kind of thing, shoe box, and then down below we have lights and tripods, and there's my dog's bed. Um, and then this right here is my bed. 
I don't know what size it is. I, I believe the bed frame is from Ikea. Uh, it's very, very old though. I've had this bed frame for a while. Um, and then panning across, we've got my dresser. And yeah, it's just a basic dresser with like the soft closing drawers. Got my flat screen right here. This is actually the flat screen I had in my apartment. Um, but because I didn't know where else to put it, I just kept in here for now. It's not even plugged in or anything. It's just sitting there doing nothing. I'll probably hook up something to it eventually. Just haven't figured that out yet. Um, and then we've got a little essence holder from uh, Jacob Hetzer. This is one of his most recent releases, the smoke ring. Um, you can see that's got some use already. I gotta clean it out. Uh, and then we've got my vintage 1979 original Nostromo hat from the movie Alien. The original one, the real deal. Um, we've got some more shoes up here. This is just like my boots, or most of my boots, I guess. Some Visvum, some cowboy boots, good stuff like that. And then panning across, we've got the main setup. When I'm not using my laptop, which is right in that corner, I'm usually using this thing. Um, this is a custom build from CyberPower PC. And then um, I've got my curved MSI 144Hz monitor right there. And I've got that on a Amazon Basics monitor arm. So I can, it's like, so then it's floating. I can move it around however I like. Um, you might have noticed that there's no chair here. And that's because this is a standing desk. It's actually a sit to standing desk, but I like to have it permanently standing. This right here is a control panel so I can adjust the height. So let's watch that happen. There we go, it's going down. But I like to have it standing all the time, so let's set that back to 112, which is my ideal height. There we go. There we go. The reason why I have a standing desk is because I have um, like a really bad leg problem that flares up if I sit for too long. So this really helps with that issue. I also have a little foot fatigue mat. Uh-oh, foot reveal. Basically, it just helps you stand for extended periods of time. Um, I'm able to stand for, you know, eight hours if I need to, because this thing like lowers the impact it has on your feet. Um, since this is like a hardwood floor, it's nice to have a soft pad to stand on. And um, yeah, let's see what else we got. So peripherals, I've got my Corsair. I think this is a Corsair K70. Um, this is a, <clears throat> This is the keyboard I used back in like high school. And then we've got my SteelSeries Rival. Um, I've gone through quite a few of these. And then we have my Razer Goliathus mouse pad. That's just one that I've had for a while. And then, I don't even know what this headset is. Razer, I don't know what model. Um, and yeah, my computer just turned on because I touched everything. But yeah, it's got lights and shit. It's a really good computer. I'm very, very happy with it. it handles Warzone quite well, as you guys will see later in the video. But what else, what else? Um, it's got one extra shelf over there, and then, oh yeah, a couple people were asking about this rug. This is just a cowhide rug. It's, um, you, get, you can see that's real cowhide, um, not vegan safe or anything like that. But yeah, I say we hop into the closet, which is right through here. Let's go over. Big mirror. And then this is the closet room. Very, very jam-packed. I've got lots of stuff in here. Um, so just a quick overview of how I have things laid out. I've got jackets over here, sweatshirts and vests and button-up shirts right here. This is all my pants laid out along here, going across, and then this is just my t-shirts. I recently slimmed down my t-shirt collection quite a bit. I probably had double this. And then this right here is just an extra rack. Um, I didn't want to get a third one of these racks, so I just have a temporary rack right here with um, just some extra jackets. It's not really a good space for them right now just because they're blocking the window, but it gets the job done, I guess. Um, and here, this is just my brother's piano. He comes in here to play piano occasionally. And then on top of the piano, we have my sweater. Since I don't like to hang my sweaters, it's not good for the sweaters. Um, and then we've got like day-to-day -day accessories. We got beanies sunglasses right here and then my belt that I usually roll with and then up top above the two main racks we have some more shoes these are just like my shoes that I wear on a frequent basis a quick pan through those some of them are new some of them are old a lot of you guys were asking about my 
clothing racks where I got them or if I made them. Um, this is actually from an Etsy seller that I found. He does a black coating on metal pipes. He cuts them, he threads the pipes so then they all screw together. And then he also had, and then they're also on wheels so you can move them around. Um, they weren't that expensive compared to like how much it would have cost to make this myself. It was about the same. Um, and it was free shipping, so I figured why not just, you know, buy it, save me a lot of trouble. So I ended up purchasing two of them. I might have to get a third one for extra clothes, but I do want to slim down my closet quite a bit. I recently sold like 50 items in a big closet sale, so I'm down to this. Um, but yeah, that is the current situation. We've got two studio lights right here because this will be my YouTube recording studio, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if I can get the frame. This will probably be around the frame. Try to have it centered with the racks and then the shoes up above nice and clean and yeah that's pretty much it for the closet and room tour Alright. This thing's got a little bit of kick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, dude. You win this fight and you return to the front line, but if you lose, you're done.
fucking go, man. Let's fucking go. Whew. Whew. How many kills is that? How many kills is that? 13? That's pretty good. Everybody, that ain't happening. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. No! No! Oh! Aw, oh, damn. Choked. Alright, I have a sniper. I don't want to take that bridge. Yo, Owen, can you drop a sniper ammo? Oh, yo, leave it right there! Oh, running in the open field. Down one. Down two. Down three. Oh my oh. god. Kill them. Finish them off. Finish them off. One more. Where is that chest, bro? There we go. Let's grab the gun. All right, why can't you shoot through that? Can you not armor when you're hit sounds? Probably not. Some stuff is going on up there. There he is. Come on, Carl. There we go. 
Hello? Should have assumed 